useful for us, and those ones that we dealt with, things like that a lot. An important aspect of this was how triangles could be used, and especially how we see them to divert force. So we thought this diagram was a good uh, illustration of the kind of things we looked at here, where with the load bearing down on it, you've got compression coming in at angles two different ways. You've got tension coming out this way, normal force coming back up. So there's forces going in a lot of different places and not necessarily being concentrated in one or two areas, and that's why we thought it was important to use equilateral triangles when possible, because uh, as opposed to trapezoids or right angles in the main part of the truss design, rather than just having force coming down to mostly one direction, going multiple ways, we're going to use an equilateral triangle. So on top of this, we started to, as we started to design our truss, uh, we found that the best way to divert the force from the center of the truss into the towers to help the towers actually help out the ratio was to create an arch. And so we looked at the formula that was given for deflection, and we noticed that uh, the deflection was inversely proportional to the cube of the height. So the height was obviously very important. So we found that if you lay a piece horizontally, and you put a, a weight in the center of it, it's going to have a lot of deflection. But if you take that same piece and angle it up and put the same weight on it, it's going to have a lot less deflection. So we had to, we did some exper experiments with that. So, so yeah, we just took pieces of balsa wood and we tried them at different lengths and different angles and everything, and we just tried to figure out what would be the ideal uh, length of the balsa wood for the arch and the height of the arch and everything. Uh, we tested this out in the computer using the Model Smart 2D program where we designed the individual parts, like the truss, the deck, or the, um, the towers, and the ends of the deck, and uh, the end supports in a 2D program, and then we put it all together in a 3D program. We put it to see how it would fit together and how the ratio would hold as each piece was actually put together. And then after that, we designed everything and put it in, into the CAD software, which is really essential to helping us build the actual bridge getting exact measurements and exact angles and everything. So we started with a simple truss design. It was basically just a rectangular prism. And then we kind of used the program, which really helped us in saving time and resources, to take our first design and step up from there, find better ratios, start with rectangle, start finding which arch was the best. Uh, so we just tested a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of different angles and everything. and. We ended up even adding in a trapezoid into our, like, added into the arch of the deck. We also looked online and studied, like, different types of truss structures so we could see which one was the best fit. And we came up with the idea of an arch truss as we did before, and we studied the chemical weaponry design, and we slightly modified it so that it would fit kind of our two designs. as a basis to modify a little bit what we did. And then from there, once we had that, it was largely just a matter of trial and error for a lot of it, where we were able to use the software, fortunately, to uh, more effectively determine exactly the specifics once we had our idea in mind. And the 3D software really was an invaluable part of doing that because it allowed us to test different things without using a lot of time and resources. And then we could find weak points or things that we needed to fix relatively easily. So here's a picture of um, one of our first designs once we put an arch into our truss. And uh, we, th this program was really good at helping us find out where the best uh, places was to have the arch angled and the best way to put in triangles. And then after the uh, deck, we started designing ends of the deck, which um, we found also was good to have an arch as a part of the support for the tower and the end of the deck. And then this is a picture of our initial tower design when we wanted four towers. We ended up deciding that it was better for the weight to just have two towers, but it also had basically the same amount of strength. This is a picture of, uh, after we put everything into the 3D program, um, we basically had to start from scratch in the program and put in every joint, every member, and put in everything from the 2D programs together and make sure it all measured in fine and it showed
showed us um, what pieces were needed to be strengthened and we could add in and tweak it as we needed. And so that was one of the big challenges with this tower, figure out how we could make that work with the trucks. Because as Jake mentioned, we started looking at using four different towers, two on each end. We decided that that was really not helpful at all to the weight load ratio. And then even when we went down to one on each end, we still struggled a little bit with how that would be the best Personally, I'm going into 